Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope y'all are doing great. I am doing okay. Today we're going to be stamping out some pretty cool stamped images from Crafter's Companion. I picked this up at Tuesday morning a couple of weeks ago. I was so excited to see this one and the little bunny rabbit because I had wanted to get this little bunny rabbit for forever. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> I don't even... I had told myself that I was going to go online and check out the... Um, see what they had did with it. Um, meaning Raptor's Companion before I tried it. But, you know, here we are. So I have been having a few issues with stamps. Clear stamps in particular. But mostly acrylic stamps. And so I'm having some problems with this stamp as well. And I had purchased this foam to give it some more cushion for the clear stamps. But I'm going to take this foam off. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if it's a, a defect in my foam, which I don't think it is. Um, I'm going to take this foam off and I'm going, I've repositioned my stamp. And we're going to see because I've had, I did a stamp image, this one right here. And I was having trouble with this piece right there. And then the back just looks horrible right so we're going to color this up but for now we're just going to figure out if it's brandy or if the stamp is just crap not crap in a bad way just crap for me you know a defective because sometimes you can get defective stuff right this seems to be my luck lately so i was just examining it to see if there was a defect or something in there. And I have bought a defective stamp before. Like a line was jacked up in there. And I had to contact the company, which was Fiskars. And they sent the replacement set right away. So it does have some ink already from the previous inking. So I'm just going to try and get my ink bang for my ink buck. <laughs> um, if you are new to stamping... Um, if you have clear stamps and they change colors, it's okay. They're not, nothing's wrong with them. I'm using Ranger Archival ink. I like Ranger more so than the other stamp ink people have recommended. A lot of people recommend Tuxedo Black ink when you're using alcohol marker, which is Memento. I have the same issue, runny, and I feel like for me the tuxedo and i've purchased it brand new from the store not like pulled out the the stash and used it i just feel like it doesn't give for me a crisp as crisp color of black as the archival ink does i'm just trying to ink this up really 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 good saturated a little bit now i have inked and stamped off inked and stamped off inked and stamped off so no concern no worries even when i did that though i still had that little line missing so you see right there in this hair piece. And I was trying to check the hair. The hair looks like it's supposed to be missing in that one spot. That I, I was concerned about that. But here the image shows it clearly being marked in. So that was my concern. Now this is a good candidate, a good stamp candidate for scan and cutting. So if you are interested in, you know, making multiple of these and putting them. You know maybe layering them up or whatever you definitely can do that i think i kind of have an idea of how i want to do this image but if it doesn't stamp out properly then it's no sense in me getting all excited about it now see it stamps out great in those everywhere else except for that one spot i am applying pressure so if anything is shaking and moving that is real time and again i'm going to scoop this up just a little bit and i'm going to apply some ink right here at the top and right here now is this enough to be be upset about mm, yeah <laughs> so i probably will contact the stamp company and let them know i need a replacement um and you know the back so when we talk i'm just inking up in that spot again uh, I'm going to ink up the whole thing, I guess. The funny part about replacements is that, have you ever bought, like we went to Home Depot, Home Depot Lowe's, and we bought a vacuum cleaner in 2018 because the other one died. 
and we bought the extended one we bought a warranty we didn't know it was an extended warranty we just thought it was a warranty because i would say do you want to buy a warranty but the warranty really is crap and i'll tell you why so our vac our um lawnmower has a four-year manufacturer's warrant um warranty on it so after four years then you could take it to lowe's or home depot and see if they will replace it or you know try to fix it so from 2018 when we purchased it so we had to take it to the manufacturer's place and it was like oh no it's not a warranty issue anyway you have trash in your gas tank so i took it out i did this 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 and this and it's clean no we had he said it was old gas so if you have a vacuum a lawnmower and i would recommend not overfilling the lawnmower with gasoline because if it sits there it may cause the same problem but we have crappy grass anyway we have like dirt it's like soil <laughs> i can't wait to win a lottery so i can buy all the stamps in the world and get some real good soil for my home so i'm just trying to apply a little bit of pressure here and it still has that um spot and I don't know why you won't stamp out at the top. Let's let's just move on. So I will be contacting the company and saying, you know, I have a it's a flaw in the stamp. Now I remember um, what was it two months ago, October three, four, five months ago. Now I'm trying to get the exact time. It was an October stamp from Hero Arts. Hero Arts, and they had a boo boo. Um, I think we're gonna turn this this way, and I think I'm gonna try and stamp this out. Let's see. Will it fit on the platform on the acrylic block? It will, but I'm not gonna be stressing over that thing like that. Nope. Now I have one of those little push down thingies, but I don't see it either. Um, so I'm just open it. These are all brand new. These four images, the lady, and these three little pieces. So I hadn't, um, this is our first time getting experience with these. I'm just going to take them off. When you take off acrylic stamps, you know you have to be very, very careful not to tear them. They're easily torn. So you gotta be mindful of that. And as I manhandle the stamp, right? Um, I'm just you know, letting you know that that's really what you gotta do though. So I think I'm going to stamp this out and then fussy cut it out. Ugh. That F word. Fussy cut. Ugh. <laughs> I can see why Poet Spice likes dyes. <laughs> because it just makes life so much simpler, right? So much easier. But I like my scan and cut um, to do like projects like this. It's because I don't plan on doing anything right now besides um, stamping them up and coloring them or whatever. So... You know, if I had my life together, my scanning cut would be in my crafty space. But it's not. It's downstairs on our kitchen table. Taking up valuable eating elbow space. Um, maybe I'll get my, my room together this year. Like, for real, for real. Not that pretend, oh, I'm going to get it done and then not do it. So what I'm really doing is checking to see if these stamps actually stamp out. As we know, I just told you that that one doesn't. So... What I will be doing is contacting the company, you know, taking a picture of the stamp in that one spot and contacting the company and seeing what um, can be done about that. Now, the reason why I am sh sharing and showing this to you is because um, I purchased, I spent a lot of money on stamps last February and earlier in the year from the, um, um, HSN craft show from this is March I think the January show and I got them and they were crappy to me I didn't like the stamp sets I love the images but they didn't stamp out properly and everybody was like try this try this try this try this try this I tried everything that they suggested and it still did not work so I just sent them back because like this does not want to stamp out and I don't know why it's not stamping you know, I have a philosophy about some things that we purchased on Tuesday morning. Um, 
sometimes it's crap defective or sometimes it's just operate error now i remember i want to say three years ago now when um fun stampers journey was still fun stamper journey and not a part of i guess it was always a part of um spellbinders but you know when they had coaches and things like that before they shut it down um Tuesday morning had papers from there and people were saying, oh, it's not the real thing. It's not that, you know, some of the people saying it's not, it's the real thing. It's just the paper was not up to par. So that's why we didn't keep, you know, we got rid of it or whatever. It wasn't the perfect, the perfect purple. It was, um, off a little bit. And so, you know, I, I do think Tuesday morning probably gets some of those products. None of them are wrong. Um, they're just not company quality and we have to remember that tuesday morning is a discount store even though the prices are not always discount prices um some of them are regular prices or you can get it for cheaper at the at the big box store or whatever except for the tuesday except for the house mouse stamps right some of the house mouse stamps you know we talked about the packaging in the past is different than normal packaging and all we can tell is that you actually buy it from the, the company itself so i'm just going to represent i did have problems with this little flower at first so i want to apply a little bit of pressure right here just to see i hate scrubbing scrubbing it that is one reason why i do like the wood block stamps but i don't like a heavy wood block stamp or a big wood block stamp i prefer a smaller size wood block stamp only because um if you have a larger wood block stamp the image is not going to come out properly Unless you do, like you, you ink it up and you put the stamp on his back and then you rub your paper on there. And then even with that, sometimes I feel like it's not um, the best. Come on, good grief. <clears throat> All right, here we go. This is going to have to do. So this stamps out pretty good. And I really, really like this. I have another, I have a huge wood block um, flower pattern stamp that looks really, really cool. Um, and I had stamped it out a few times. And of course I had boo-boos because it's a bigger block stamp. But the images that did get printed were really, really pretty. So we got this paper. And I want to say this is 110 paper. So this may be Joanne Fabric 110 paper. I'm not sure. Um, I usually use the, um, Georgia Pacific paper, but I realized, I think I did the math and it was a little bit cheaper getting it from Joanne Fabric at the time when I got it. So I'm not sure, um, you know, the price, but I like it all as long as it does what I need it to do. And I haven't had any issues. I know some ladies last year were saying, that the paper that they sold from Joanne Fabric, the Park Lane paper, was not the best paper. But I was like, it's heavy. It's not, so, in my opinion, that paper is not really meant for folding. It's meant more of a layer because the core is white, right? And so you don't really want to fold a pink paper over and get a white core. And I think that's what everybody was upset about. The core was white. But I think it even said white core on there. And if it didn't, I'm quite sure they learned their lesson. So I don't, I hope right here I see a little, a little bit of, I don't know. Now I'll tell you all this. I normally don't prep my stamps. And I've told you that before. So I'm going to give this lady in this plant a, another chance. Since she's been inked up about 20 times now. And we'll see. Oh, look the bunny. This little bunny. If he is not the cutest thing in the world. I don't know what it is like I don't know these Im some of these images is just like breathtaking one stamp one ink no problem cleaner line stamped images have usually a better effect than detail stamps just because it's just lines it's not a lot of um, detail work but sometimes detail work stamps stamp out great I think it just depends on the operator the ink the stamp itself, things like that definitely make a difference. But this little bunny stamped out great and again, great. Right here and right here, a little bit fuzzy. 
I got too excited and probably didn't put enough ink there. So we're going to do that right quick. On the, on the ears. Oh, he is so cute. Now, the, I have seen a few cards that I really want to try and work on. So we will be trying those. Now with these images, we need to do smaller images. So I'm going to do some research on that. Oh, look, it is so nice and pretty. It stamps out great. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my little acrylic block because no paper left behind. Right. And I'm going to take this um, image and I'm going to bring the ink to the stamp. Always bring ink to the stamp from what I've learned and been told by well um, stampers that have been in the stamping world a lot longer than I have been. Um, I did see recently where someone said, I know we always tell you to bring the stamp to the ink. But this time, uh, the ink to the stamp. But this time, we needed to bring it the other way. <laughs> I was like, oh, great. Change 122. So, I mean, the reason why you don't want to do this is because you can get ink on the spots that you're not supposed to get ink on. And then it could be a problem. So, I think that's why people create a stamp, self-inking stamps. But then the ink dries out. It's just a mess. Ugh, it's just horrible. So we're going to see if we can't get about four images here. And the reason why I'm going to do this, even though I have to fussy cut these out, is because I'm going to try to put those around a little bunny, I think. We will see. But that will be for another video. So I'm going to try to do like little short videos and just upload them for you all. I haven't, I haven't been very um, good at doing that lately. Let's see. That was a bad stamp, but it still came out pretty good because I stamped, I hit the side thing. So, and I think we're going to be able to fit one more. So we have two even for the little bunnies. And then we'll come back at another time and, um, you know, create the project. So what we're going to do now today is just ink and color. And I see this bunny being brown. I'm not sure why I see it as a brown bunny, but... Um, I do see him as being brown. All right, so here we go. I wanted to use the Spectrum New R markers, but I'm going to be using, um, what is this called? I don't know. I got it from, uh, Ross. And it was 18 in a pack for $6.99. Alcohol markers. And... This color is sand, and this is the color I wanted the bunny to be. So, I also think I may do him gray. Now, if it had, if I had a little bow, I could make it that color because I'm thinking these colors look more masculine than because you know I think sometimes we paint um, bunny. Oh, is that the right color? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. We paint them um inadvertently. I think a lot of crafters make stuff more feminine than masculine, whereas I always kind of um color things neutral colors, but I tend to try and favor the male arena more, I guess, because my little one and the big one are guys. And I think sometimes in the crafting world, it's not a lot of masculine things. It's always the same thing like cars, boats, fishing, things like that. Um, Where, you know, a lot of men are gardeners. A lot of men are gardeners. A lot of men sew. A lot of men create wonderful craft stuff too. And I think sometimes we just kind of forget about them. And I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Is that the color I just used? No. So, yeah. The reason why I didn't want I want to color up something, I didn't want you guys to be like, oh, she just stamped it out and then color it. What? What's going on with her? <laughs> so I, I have um decided that I'm gonna get back on my crafty whatever and work it out. <laughs> As I've told you before in a few videos, I have not really had the mental capacity. Oh, is this sand? It looks different now. Um, it's the only square shape mark out here, so it has to be the right one. 
uh, to actually color. Um, I've been coloring and I made a, f a lot of videos. They just didn't come out the best. Like thinking of mentally thinking about them and going, ugh. So here we are. I wanted to do this. I have so many projects in this mind and head of mine that I have to get it all done. I was like, I'm going to crochet something. I pulled out some yarn about, um, we're in March, five, six months ago. And it still just pulled out. Um, I am known, I'm notorious for planning and just not doing it. That's why I, I volunteer or signed up for all these collaborations. When I'm in collaborations, I am forced to do the right thing. Forced to do the right thing. <laughs> but when it's just Brandy doing stuff, Brandy don't have to. Like if you, if I never commit to something, you won't know that I've committed to it because I never, you know, verbally tell you. I did have, I do have a project that I missed, but I'm okay with that. It's no, you know, it's not a a big deal. But I did, I have decided that I'm going to try and do two or three projects in one sitting versus one, and that's for the my my own personal things that I'm working on so um for example like the um magazine Mondays I'm going to try to record like two or three videos for those and that way they'll already be in the hopper as people call it that is so cute isn't that cute look at this little bunny you cannot say he's not cute even if the coloring was crappy the little bunny <laughs> He does something for all of us. He makes it where it's just so cute. So I'm going to turn this over. Now, I don't have a terracotta pot marker, I don't think. And I don't know if I want to try and create that, actually. So, um, you know, don't judge me. I probably do have a terracotta color and don't know it. But I don't want him to be terracotta anyway. I kind of want him to... Um, now right here, this would be a good piece to, uh, paper piece because you can cut out some flower pattern and just put it on there, but I'm going to cut these out and put it on there. So I just need to figure out, I think I'll make it like a blue or green color. I have some blue pots. If you're wondering, that doesn't make any sense. I have blue flower pots that I have markers and pins in and I have like a green pattern, Eastern one that I have like my scissors in. So I have like little pots. It, it, it takes up less room in my opinion than other things I think that's really cool he's so cute he is too cute too cute um, I may color that lady on another video we'll see um, but right now we're just going to color this little bunny because I want to try to stop the video at 30 minutes versus an hour <laughs> We're just going to do this little bunny. Excuse the scraping if the scraping bugs you. I'm not sure if that's a good sign of a marker or a bad sign. Again, this is the same. What is it called? It is called Twin Sketch Marker. It doesn't have the name on there like some markers do. But it's called like My, Cre My Creative something. I don't know. I did a... Um, a review. See how they work. And they work pretty good. For the most part. Um, now I didn't go into depth with it. You know like a lot of artists. That use markers when they get markers. Especially like the knockoff markers. As they call them. Because if you don't use a Copic marker. It's a knockoff right. Or it's not the best. Um, from what I've witnessed. From the. Um, some, of the some of the. Artists they're like. Oh yeah you know. It's it's not this, but I'm like, if you are a beginner, you don't need to invest as much money as Copix wants you to invest. Because that's just crazy. So I think, let's see. Let's see, that's yellow. Let's go ahead and color up our little plants. And I think I want to do like a little spotty coloring. Spotty mean like I want to do, um, well, you'll see. So yeah, I think for beginners like myself, um any alcohol marker will do for the most part because you know you don't know what you're doing now 
what I do recommend is as you get more advanced and you find yourself learning how to color a lot more and easier and it comes to you and you can blend a lot better then for example this color is called pink violet say if it I like this pink violet a lot and it um, I've learned how to use it and it works great for me I would say take this color and find if, if you're going to invest in Copics like that's what you're that's what you're going to do you're going to just use Copic markers nothing else then go and find this color and replace it like that as your bad markers are your crappy markers as um, or the cheap markers as some of the artists the knockoffs whatever they want to call them dies out then you can do it now some people because i think this is i think spectrum noir consider themselves to be artist grade markers anyway um you know you don't have to go out and get um copic they cost a lot of money the Copics I have um, were given to me, and I got a few when they were on clearance. So I definitely am not about to go and say, oh, buy a lot of Copic markers because you've been coloring for two minutes. No, 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 no. You'll never hear me tell you that. Um, unless this is what you want to do. Like if you want to start off because you know that you're going to be the best coloring person in the world, do what you got to do. I was watching um, a review on the Chameleon markers. And those look like they are really cool markers to purchase. But I was like, no. I'm going to use these markers until they dry up. And I've had these markers since 2018. Let's see. Yeah, 2018. And it's 2020. And they still are doing what I need them to do. Which is make me happy. <laughs> Some of the Copic markers that I have have dried out, but they were already given to me. And I'm not about to go and replace them with another Copic marker. I'm just going to be okay with um, what I have. I think that sometimes that we forget that. That we're okay with not having. <laughs> so we have to have. I think I want to do this gold. It says it's yellow, and I talk about this in my marker review, but it really has like a gold tinge to it. And the reason why I decided to do yellows versus make the colors all kind of crazy, like I really wanted to do, I'm going to make the pot a little bit crazy. Now, I have a dark blue. It says baby blue, but it's not as blue, light of blue as I want it to be. So I think I'm just going to um, color my pots yellow. I mean green and then do the rim a little bit different color and then we'll be done coloring takes up a lot of time right so I decided to use this aqua mint which is so pretty is it not a pretty color I think it is um, and then we'll be done and um, I'll tell you I like the stamps so I think for $2.99 was a good purchase um, I don't know if they were on, I guess they were probably on HSN. I'm not sure. I've noticed that, um, some of the things that launch from their, their company launch here first, or launch here first and then in the UK. I'm not sure, um, if that's true or not, because I do watch, or maybe they launch at the same time. I do watch their little crafters tv see i think that is so cool like we don't have that in the states crafters tv hochanda creating craft um i'm not sure i think it's another one uh jewelry one that deb um introduced me to that i could not i can't i can't watch it because i would be broke trying to you know sometimes uh, sometimes deals are just too freaking good to pass up unfortunately right that's how i look at it all the time so pretty okay so here we are with our stamped and this one is stamped in color so cute so what i plan on doing is cutting these all out by hand yes and then i think i'm going to just kind of put these in a little flower garden thing and put them on a card i think this right here i want to stamp out some more of those but i was just trying to do like a quick 
see how it stamps out and here we are with this I do think it's a defect in this stamp so um, I like it a lot I do love it it's really nice it's a smaller version um, I have some Prima stamps that are kind of similar to that so you know I'm not too upset about it. I just wish that it was a whole thing because that one thing bugs me I'm not sure how you are when you get stamps if that one little thing bugs you but it's bugging me so anyway I want to say thank you all for watching until next time take a cute look at this little buddy happy crafting <laughs>